everybody and welcome back to Nerdly Out Loud, the official channel of nerdly.co.uk, your favourite British home for all of your news, reviews and exclusive interviews. I like to cover everything from the big budget to the low budget to the no budget with a special keen interest on the lower end of the scale. And every now and then there is an actor out there, there is an actress out there, director out there, somebody out there that I just cannot help but watch every single thing that they make, every single goddamn thing. And one of those actors for me is the awesome, awesome, awesome Scott Adkins. Everybody knows I'm a big Scott Adkins fan. So this time we have a movie called Take Cover, directed by Nick McKinless. Pretty damn prolific in the stunt scene over the last decade. Like, name a big budget action movie with stunts and choreography, and Nick McKinless probably had a hand in the stunt team. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and ding that notification bell. It will let you know whenever I drop an episode, whether it's an interview or a review or anything like that. Yes, so let's just get straight into Scott Adkins starring Take Cover. Talk about the plot of the movie with as few spoilers as possible. Then I'd like to get into what I did and didn't like about the movie. I'll talk about the cast and crew, flip that. I do the cast and crew first, then what I did and didn't like. And then I'll get into my final Nerdly Out Loud rating, which is my rating, not the rating of Nerdly on the whole, but you can pretty much take my ratings to the bank because I'm pretty much, I mean, yeah, Phil does like his Scott Adkins movies, but I'm kind of the main guy when it comes to Scott Adkins movies. That's like, that's my boy right there. That's my boy. Sam Ward is somewhat of a little bit of a, an aging sniper. He's awesome at what he does. He's one of the best in his field, but he's getting a little bit tired of it. He's getting a little bit burnt out with the whole thing. And he kind of just wants to like, I don't know, maybe start finding another way to live. We meet him at the start of the movie with his partner, Ken, who's a spotter, and they are taking out a target. He accidentally kills a female who's right there, but it almost seems like she knows he's about to take the shot and she covers the guy that she's with. Now, that is like gonna play on your mind and it does play on Sam's mind for a little bit. Okay, maybe it is just time to get out of course ken is not going to be happy because he's just the spotter he's the guy that kind of gets you out of the situations that he got you into whereas scott adkins whereas sam lord is the main guy he's the one that takes the shot but as with any movie like this when you have a sniper or a gangster or anyone like that who has decided they are going to get out of the game there is only ever one way out of the game you either die or you go on that final mission and when they say final mission, that usually means there's a good chance you're going to die. So yeah, he's got this final mission where they're going to go to this hotel. There's this big job they have to do. They've got to wait there a few days. However, stuff and things begin to happen. And we don't know who's behind everything. And now Sam and Ken are in a fight for their lives in this hotel room. They've got a couple of massage therapists there. They are there as well. So they get caught in the whole crosshairs of it all. But... Who can he trust? Who can he not trust? What is going on? And will he be able to get out of this hotel room? So there's not really too much else I want to say about the plot other than, you know, he's just going to try and survive. He's going to try and get out, but also try and figure out who's doing this to him and why. Let's be honest, we're not reinventing the wheel with this story. This is a story we've seen done before, but when done well and executed well, it's a very, very solid kind of story. So that's kind of where this movie lives and lies in its execution. No pun intended, but yeah, in its execution, that's where that's where it lives. A little bit on our cast and crew before we get on to anything else. Scott Adkins playing Sam Lord is his usual best. Like he brings so much to every movie he's in. One of the things I've always loved about this guy is like, it doesn't matter the budget of the movie. It can be super low budget. It can be mega high budget. We are always going to get the best of Scott Adkins. He's easily one of the best on the British scene. He makes everything look so effortless. And this is one of those movies that's kind of made for him. You know, it's kind of another one of those calling card type movies. Another one of those, what, you want me to do that? I can do that shit. I can do that in my sleep. And he does it in his sleep i mean he, he doesn't sleep in the movie but he's so good at it and when the choreography gets going he just makes it work we love it we want to see it he's bone crunching he's hard hitting somebody who did surprise me though is ken the guy that plays ken actor jack parr 
he's absolutely brilliant they have really good chemistry together you can tell that they've kind of been through it but then when sam says he's going to retire ken's kind of like really bitter about it and not happy about it but you know they're they're friends they're comrades they're going to talk about it they're going to have a beer together jack pa i believe i saw him a little while ago in wolves of war that sam gittins movie that i watched a little while ago and um chuck bass from gossip girl was in it as well and I believe he was in that as well. And I kind of like them in that, but this is like a different kind of thing for me. This shows that not only can he be a supporting guy, but actually he might have the chops to step up and be the guy. He's brilliant in the role he plays. Yes, he's kind of the comic relief sidekick, but they work so well together that you never once think that. We also have the beautiful Alice Eve as Tamara. Tamara's kind of like their boss, the handler, the one that gives them the jobs. She's in the movie like quite a bit, but you don't always get to see her. And then when you do get to see her, it's pretty awesome. I am kind of a little bit of a fan of Alice Eve, so it's always good to see her in movies and it's good to see her doing great things. And yeah, she does the part really well. Our two massage therapists, Madalena Bellaro Leon, um, as as Mona is really cool. I really enjoyed that role. She really gets into it, and her and Scott Adkins have some really nice work together. They get to play around a little bit together, more so than anyone else in the film. They get some really tight dialogue. They get to build a little bit of a world here. Obviously, we're not going to get too much of it because we're not going to spend too much time with it. But yeah, we're getting to build a backstory between these two characters. And I liked it. I would love to have seen what we could have done with it going forward. And we do get a nice little sting at the end of the movie that I'm not going to spoil, but it leans into the relationship they have. Alba de Torre Bruna as Lily. Again, another one of the massage girls that's in there. Um, the, both these girls are absolutely fantastic. They, they really play the parts well. They get the story moving. They bring us into that sort of, like the danger and the jeopardy that you might feel when you have some snipers and army men and super army soldiers going against each other. is not always there. So when you throw these two civilians into the mix, there is a, a bigger bit of, of danger there and it means they've got somebody to protect so these girls really bring that and they bring it really well so i'm going to start my what i did and didn't like with something that also comes from the cast and crew and that is nick mckinless this movie is a fantastic little kind of bottle movie we're going to stay in this hotel room we're not going to get too much backstory we're not going to bogged down in the weeds with all that kind of thing we put a sniper and a spotter in a hotel room there's another sniper and a spotter across the way and now they have to survive like i said before we're definitely not reinventing the wheel but when you execute the movie spot on that's when i can't really complain and that's what this movie does its execution is absolutely dead on nothing really feels out of place nothing feels wrong everything feels good soundtrack is fantastic the music the score it's all good and that's what matters the choreography the fight choreography as always when you have someone like scott adkins in the lead it's always going to be top notch and it's always going to be perfection when it comes to punching kicking and slapping it's always going to be good the gunplay is actually really solid i wasn't expecting this solid of gunplay especially when you're dealing with sniper rifles but you get these really cool moments where like you see the bullets whiz past people it added a little bit of something else so yeah nick mckinless you are one of the things you're the main thing that i really like about this movie i think you know your niche i think you know what you're doing i think you know the areas you're great at and the areas that you're not so great at pass that on to someone else let them do it you've clearly got a great crew behind you because i can't really think of anything that didn't work in this film one of the things i wasn't overly keen on and it's a nitpick it's a it's a slight nitpick but as i mentioned at the start at the start of the movie he he's on a hit he's on a job and he accidentally shoots this woman because she moves in front of the bullet and it's kind of playing on his mind and i don't know if i missed a scene or if i missed a line of dialogue and if i did then absolute apologies for what i'm about to say but then never really comes back he mentions it for the first like 20 minutes of the movie doesn't really come back again and i was sort of like i thought there was going to be a payoff here i thought that was maybe going to be why this was all happening i thought that was going to be a story beat 
that was bigger than it actually was. Now, that is a nitpick. That's my problem. But I feel like if you're going to put something out there and you're going to make something of it in the start of the movie, pay it off somewhere. And again, I may have missed a line of dialogue. And if I did, please do let me know in the comments down below. So I'm going to go into my final Nerdly Out Loud rating. And I will preface this whole thing by saying that, yes, this movie is kind of one of those movies that if you crawled into my head and then wrote a script from something that you saw within my brain, this is one of those movies. Gets in, gets out, gets done, kicks ass, blows things up, shoots things, kills things, punches things, people get thrown out of windows, people jump over balconies, a drone comes in and gets blown up, that's pretty cool. That's take cover. Take cover, um, yeah. So my, my final Nerdly Out Loud rating, my rating, Kevin Haldon's Nerdly Out Loud rating, I genuinely love this movie. I think this movie is an absolute vibe. I think it works in all the right places. Cinematography-wise, it looks gorgeous. Choreography-wise, it is gorgeous. Scott Adkins-wise, it's another banger. It's an absolute banger. Is it going to go down as one of his classic performances? I'm not sure quite yet, but I do think after another watch, maybe two more watches, I'll think about it a little bit more and we'll see where we land on this movie. But for now, take cover. I'm going to slap a five out of five on this movie. I just think there's nothing really wrong apart from that story beat at the start. But again, that's a nitpick, if anything. And that's what I love. That's what I love. So take cover. It gets a five out of five from me. Please do go over to the website, nerdly.co.uk. We will have a whole bunch of people over there who are also reviewing these movies. And um, please do check out the videos down below. I've been reviewing lots and lots and lots of different things lately. So that's all good if you check them out. Please do like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I love it when people join us and come on board and join the party. So please do all of those good things. I'll be coming with more reviews, more interviews. I've got stacks and stacks coming. It's not going to stop. But for now, my name has been Kevin Halden. This is Nerdly Out Loud, and I will see you on the next video. But Scott Adkins, Nick McKinless, Jack Parr, Alice Eve, take cover, gets a five out of five from me.